Stuart J. Raj here. Imagine if there was a tool out there where you could create unlimited spaced repetition or mass sentence audio files in over 34 languages and not have to pay a cent, not have to share your data with anybody, not have to have some kind of subscription or anything. You don't even have to be connected to the internet, yet you can create these files. Does that exist? Well, you might remember the old days of Glossika. I really love these. And Mike has gone on to create a fantastic product in his online Glossika series. But these are the way Glossika used to come out. And you can see GMS. This is for Thai. And they were Glossika mass sentences. And if you have a look inside here, you can see that actually you would have the English, the Thai, you'd have phonetic Thai and IPA. Now, that wasn't sustainable. People would go on and copy his books and share the PDFs and share the audio files. So I get it. As a business, this is not sustainable. And the quality of his voice recordings are phenomenal because he uses real native speakers recording their voice. For me as a learner, those kind of services to hear native speakers is invaluable. However, I think there is a place for having audio files generated by synthetic voices. Now, synthetic voices, there are bad ones, good ones, and really good ones. Right now, AWS, Google, they have some fantastic ones, but believe it or not, if you own a Mac computer, there is a program on there, and I'll just jump in here. If I come and say, say, and then I put this in, hi, I'm Stuart J. Raj, Let's listen. Hi, I'm Stuart J. Raj. How did that sound? Not too bad. Okay, I get it. It's not a real human voice, but actually the prosody is not bad. And in fact, for anybody that has bought a copy of my Cracking Thai Fundamentals book in the past, you would know very well that in the appendices, appendix two actually, I have a whole section on this and building the ultimate uh, vocabulary building tool. And I even show you and I've written the script for you to show you how to do it. Now, this is in line with like Minecraft and everything. I believe if you've got tech skills, well, then you can bypass a whole lot of stuff that's going to cost you money and have to share your data with people. And you can give yourself kind of superpowers because you can build tools that don't exist and they can really help you learn. For me, I find the process of actually building the tools is almost a therapeutic thing and it helps me really get into the language because I have to understand the language as I build them. Now, I'm not saying you need to build this tool yourself because I've done it for you and it's totally free and I'm sharing it with everyone. So somebody asked in the comments the other day, has there been an update to this tool? The answer is yes. So what does the tool do? Well, I'll give you an example what Glossika old school used to do. Supposing you had a sentence, open the door, open the door in Thai, you might just want to go around and listen to, you know, 10 sentences in the morning. Open the door. Open the door. Close the door. Heck, you could even have three languages. Open the door. That's Indonesian. And again, if you've got language A, language B, language C, you can have language A and then language B, language B. And then as you're getting more familiar, you could have language A and then only one repetition of language B. And in the old Glossika days, you would then be able to just choose the C set, which was only the target language. And this is really good there because it helped you wean onto the new target language without having to depend on your mother tongue or whatever that first language was. Another use case is when I was in Sweden recently. Now I speak Danish, my Norwegian and Swedish isn't that great. So I really wanted to shift my Danish into Swedish and also Norwegian because I spent some time there in Norway as well. And so I wanted to just make some files of sentences and words that, of course, I knew in Danish that I could listen across Swedish and Norwegian also to get the pitch accent and to get the differences in pronunciation. And so I could just use this tool to spit them out and bang, I could hear them and it prepared my mind for when I hit Sweden. So that's the theory behind it. Let me show you how it works because you're going to be able to use this. Now, right now, the free version is in Mac. So if I have a look here and I say, say hello, like just now, 
Hello. It, of course, says hello. Now, I've just put my ear piece in so I can hear it. Now, let me show you the voices here. Look at that. Look at all of these languages here. Now, so supposing I wanted to say that I used voice 67, which is actually um, the Australian voice. Her name is Karen. Um, but you can choose any voice. I might want to choose, oh, let me see, English US, Jester. So I can say, say, using the voice, Jester. Hi, I'm Stuart. <laughs> okay, and the jester is a jester. He's laughing. Um, some of these voices, though, aren't too bad. Uh, they actually are good enough for you to get the normal rhythm of the speech. I'll give you an example. So I'm going to show you what the Thai is like. So say in the voice of Kanya, she's the Thai voice here. And I'm just going to switch to Thai and I'll say, Sawadi Wani. Rao Marian Araigan Marian Araigan D. Okay, so so what the one Rao Marian Araigan D. What should we learn today? And I'll just close the quotes off there. Have a listen to this. Sawadi Wani Rao Marian Araigan D. So, what does this program do that I've written and you can all use for free? You can take any CSV. TSV file, and those could contain any sentences, words, anything that you wanted to export, and I've allowed up to five languages at a time, and you can have up to one to three reps of each language, and you can choose which voice you want to do which column, and how many reps, and this will just go ahead and generate your audio files. If you were to use AWS or Google Voices, uh, especially their premium voices, even though they're not that expensive, if you're really keen on your language learning and you start generating these, the price starts to go up there. This is totally free. The only catch is that you need a Mac computer. So let's have a look. By the way, don't let the terminal scare you. And this is why I put Minecraft together. Now I mentioned in my last clip that I'm building these web-based tools for people who don't want to jump into the terminal. But honestly, a little bit of tech skills you can bypass all of this pain or at least having to spend money and use all of these resources I have here. So have a look here. I've got these two TSV files. I'll have, let you have a look at them. Um, let me look. Uh, Vizidata VD4000. So these are a bunch of sentences you might be familiar with. Um, these are David's very extremely useful Thai sentences. And these are really great. He's pulled them from movies and subtitles and magazines and everything. And this is like real, real Thai. And you'll notice I have a Thai column here. Let me just expand that out. And I have a definition column here, right? And so my first set that I'm going to make, I want to get the Thai column and then the definition, all right? And I thought it'd be nice also to give an option to be able to choose a range. So you can see these, I've got these in section one, section two. So if I select all of section one, for example, you see it's selected all of those. And then I can actually see this subsection of it here. So I could technically just listen to that whole set by itself. Otherwise, sometimes I just want to choose the sentences myself from a whole huge set of um language that I have. And so I made that capability as well. I'll just show you the other file that I have. And again, these are all available to you free. These are first words. So this is from a project many years ago that I did. And uh, let me just pull that out. First words. So these are the first words in any language. And you can see all of these languages that I have here. I have a ton of them. Um, they go back Chinese, Vietnamese, and Korean, Latin, um, it goes on Punjabi, Italian, French, Russian, F Finnish, Indonesian, like I go across languages. And so this sheet is actually awesome. If you want to compare similar languages in language families, you can do it. Okay. And so we'll be using that. So the first one we're going to make is I want to make a spaced repetition file of Thai. I'm going to have the Thai say twice and then reveal what it is in English. Now you might want to do it the other way around, but I'm just going to do it like that. So 
Okay, so how do I run this? I just type in voice reps Mac. Okay, where's the file? Now I could have just fed the file in as I um, typed that too, but I'm gonna drag it in here to show you the uh, longer way, but perhaps easier. I just hit enter. It's noticed it's a TSV file. Do I wanna change the field separator? No, I'm happy with tabs. Okay, so it's gone through and it's pulled out the header rows to say, what is the first language? Well, it's Thai, so it's that Thai column, so I'm gonna choose column number four. What is the language? Well, it's Thai, so I'm gonna say TH, and so then it's filtered all of the Thai languages. Now, this is the only catch. The language that you're building these has to be in the Say program on a Mac. And so I'm going to choose voice number 66, which is Kanya. And then it says, how many repetitions? I want to have two repetitions. Would you like to add another language? Well, yes, I would. I want to add English. So where is English? I think I remember that was the definition. Uh, now, just be warned. Some of these definitions, they're not formatted really well. So maybe the English coming out in this one is going to be a little jilted. Let's see. Jilted? Stilted. Maybe they're jilted. So number seven. And it's English. Now, these are all of the English uh, accents or the English voices in say so I'm going to use 67 just because I'm an Australian and this is an Australian voice uh, so here we go how many repetitions I just want one of the English to remind me what it is would you like to add another language no now there are two ways of doing this I can use range or fuzzy finder now range was that if I wanted from uh, row number one or row number two to row number ten you could just say two to 10 and it would take that range. The other way is my preferred way is number two and that is Fuzzy Finder. Now Fuzzy Finder, um, this will help you install it if you don't have it already, but have a look at this. Uh, supposing I want to choose set number 20. Um, I can just put 20 here and it's gone and you can see all of these 20s. So I'm just gonna get five sentences to start with. So one and I hit tab one, two, three, three, four, five, I want those ones. And you can see that it's put a little arrow next to those and I'm gonna hit enter. The magic is gone to work, look at those. All of those sentences are there. It's given an overview, so language one is Thai, two reps, and that's column four. Language two is column seven, English, and it's Karen in Australian English. These are the sentences and it's gone and produced my audio file. And so now let's listen to the file. Na Song San. Na Song San. Poor thing, what a pity. Rao may tuk gun. Rao may tuk gun. We don't get along. Kop ut noi. Kop ut noi. May can I have a hug? Ya plat. Ya plat. Yeah, plat. Yeah, plat. That's actually how you should use Don't it. miss it. Don't miss out. Don't miss it. Don't miss out. Okay, so you get the idea. Um, the sky's the limit. So you get the idea. It's up to your imagination how you use these files. By the way, if you want to learn how to do all of this, this is what Minecraft is about. Applying tech skills, general knowledge, um, and giving steroids to your language learning. Okay, so let's do it again. Voice reps. Mac and here I'm going to put the first words in there that here oh, I won't, don't want to change it so I'll just click through that wow look at all those columns they're all the languages that I have in there I want 58 uh, columns I'll tell you what I want to do here I want to have English Mandarin Cantonese and I want to hear the English once Mandarin twice Cantonese twice and so what I'm going to do is choose the English column, which is column number three. Uh, the language is English. And I want to use Karen again. That's 67. How many repetitions? I will have one repetition of English. Would you like to add another language? Yes. Uh, what column? I'm going to use Mandarin, which if we come back here, that is column number 13. So I'm going to type 13. Uh, what language? It's ZH for Chinese, and so these are ZH. Now, notice down here, I have 132, uh, Cinti, this is HK, that's actually Cantonese. 
and this one is uh, ZHCN, and so this is Mandarin. So I'm going to choose Mandarin first. So 135 for Mandarin, and I want two repetitions of that, and I want another language. Yes, I want to get column number 17 I saw is Cantonese. I'm going to choose Chinese again, but this time choose 132, Xinji's um, voice, and I also want two repetitions. Would you like to add another language? No. And here, two, Fuzzy Finder. Now, this file here is in all these different um, categories, if you see in column two there. So, for example, I can say society, and you can see all of these. So, let's have a look at society. There we go. I'm going to start from technology. One, two, three, four, five. Now, I'm just choosing five here because I don't want to waste your time, but you can choose as many as you like. Um, it's up to you. So, here we go. Let's see if it'll do it. There are the sentences, and you can see now it's going through, it's producing them, it's putting spacing in, and before you know it, the file should be done. Marriage. Huiyin. 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 Fanyan. 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 Technology. Technology. Okay, so you can see democracy. Okay, so it works. Woohoo! There you go. Um, so to that person that asked, could you do an update on this? Yes, I can. And yes, I did. There it is. And this is there for everybody. If you want to find it, um, it's in this Bitbucket repository, which is a public one. Uh, you can jump in. Many of my other stuff are on GitHub, but this was done many years ago. Uh, well, most of my stuff was on Bitbucket. So you can see in there and that file is actually in the dot files stew bin. So Stubin are basically all of these programs. For those who uh, understand how to use, say, Mac in your terminal, all you have to do is add this to your path and you can access any of these. There's a whole bunch of language tools in there. And you can see here, Voice Reps Mac is in there. I'll click there. And this is the actual code of that. Okay. So you don't have to worry about any of that because it's all there. All you have to do is run it uh, once it's on your system. Um, or you can just jump in on this page, cut and paste all of that, put it into a file and make it executable and Bob's your uncle. In any case, I hope you enjoyed that. If you want to learn all of this stuff, come to jacademy.com. Uh, if you're learning Thai, get the unlimited uh, Thai bundle. Otherwise, uh, if you want to learn everything, just do the whole Minecraft uh, package and you get everything there for a year. And I'm sure many of you probably already got a copy, but if you don't, you can jump in and also order your copy of Cracking Tie Fundamentals. Um, that answers all the questions I've had over years since about the year 2000 about the Thai language. There's nothing mysterious or illogical or irrational about the Thai language. There are explanations for everything, or almost everything, and I've thrown them all in there. So if you're learning Thai, grab a copy of that. If you're not in Thailand, get it through Amazon. Otherwise, there's a link uh, there you can click on and make a local order and I'll ship it out to you via EMS. I'm Stuart J. Raj. I'll see you on the other side.